Birmingham, the award-winning BRC 6 News, with Bill Bolin, Frank O'Neill, and Tom York. Good afternoon. Presentation of the Public Television Network of Alaska. Major funding for Alaska Online is provided by Alascom, the performance people. Welcome to Alaska Online. I'm Janine Pohl. Tonight, we're at the governor's... ...the robbery suspects. <laughs> Linda Turley, Roger Downey, John Brixen, to Tracy. For Thursday, this is News 5. Good evening. This is Arkansas Week. Arkansas's only statewide in-depth news analysis program. Featuring a panel of leading journalists examining the week's top stories, reports on events that shape the lives of Arkansans, and interviews with the personalities that make Arkansas Week. Arkansas's governors have dealt with the Jess Marlowe, John Schubeck, Jim Hill, McClovio Perez, and Bill Stout's Perspective. The Channel 2 News at 6. Good evening and welcome. With every hour, the threat of an explosion. A trip to the supermarket may eventually help the state pay for prisons. Graham Rudman Hollings, what does it mean for Connecticut business? Our topic this week on the Fairfield County Business Report. I'm Lynn Flaster. Many questions remain about This is the Nightly Business Report, brought to you by Digital Equipment Corporation and the newest member of the VAX family, MicroVax 2. Now every user, project team, and department can afford the power of a VAX. Pacific Telesis Group, including Pacific Bell, Nevada Bell, and a growing network of diversified businesses. Our strong first year has set the course for a promising future. And public television stations across the nation. Good evening, everyone. Good news. Late this afternoon, the Federal Reserve took action to speed up a slug. News tonight. John Pruitt, Chuck Moore, Johnny Beckman's weather, and sports with Art Eckman. Good evening. This Channel 2 news update is sponsored by. The NFL season finally got back underway, but the fans did not.
Funding for Idaho Reports is provided by the Friends of 4, 10, and 12, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and by a grant from the Laura Moore Cunningham Foundation. Good evening. Mark Johnson is on vacation. I'm Jean McNeil. President Reagan... Chicago's very own 9 o'clock news. It's 48 degrees Fahrenheit, 11 p.m. This is WVUT-TV, a broadcasting service of Vincennes University. I'm John Windover, and this is the late edition for Tuesday, November 4th, 1986. The weather for tonight, rain most of the night with a low around 50. Tomorrow, cloudy and cool with a chance of rain, the high in the mid to upper 50s. In the news this evening, some major Republican victories in today's Knox County election. An Edwardsport woman was seriously injured in an armed robbery yesterday, and two people were injured in a traffic accident north of Vincennes this morning. Those and other stories coming up on the late edition. Republicans made some major gains in Knox County's election today, taking the two top law enforcement posts. Major funding for this program was provided by Friends of Iowa Public Television. He won a landslide victory over incumbent Republican Roger Jepson last November, after serving 10 years in the House of Representatives. His current battles in the Senate include a public protest against what he calls the Reagan administration's inadequate response to the farm debt crisis. We're trying to pass legislation in both the House and the Senate, and yet they're doing everything to block it. Tonight, a talk about the farm crisis and other issues with Iowa Senator Tom Harkin. the Sunday, March 3rd edition of Iowa Press. Here is Dean Borg. Good evening. It's been a busy political week with a focus on improving the nation's economy and more specifically the Iowa economy. While Congress battles... From Louisville, Kentucky, this is Wave TV News Tonight. Good evening, I'm Don Schroeder. And I'm Christy Callahan. Tonight, it appears landowners holding out for more money are creating problems. Louisiana, the state we're in, is provided in part by... The Ziegler Foundation of Jennings. Gulf States Utilities, helping Louisiana bridge the gap to our energy future. And the Kaiser Aluminum and Chemical Corporation.
say the law violates the constitutional separation of church. WCSH Television, Channel 6, Portland. This is New Center at 11 with Richard Rose, Bruce Glazier, and Joe Cupo. Good evening. is made possible in part by a grant from the Farm Credit System, the nation's borrower-owned banks and associations that provide credit and related services to American agriculture with a new symbol of progress. Good morning and welcome... From Channel 56, the News at 10, with Jack Hines, Uma Pamaraju, Weather with Ron Harris, and Sports with Rick Schwartz. Good evening and welcome to this... An off-duty police officer is dead, shot in the chest. Could he have been saved if EMS had taken him to the closest hospital? Lee Iacocca's 1987 compensation, a major topic of discussion in today's contract talks. The U of M finally picks a new athletic boss, and his name will certainly ring a bell. These reports and more right now on the 10 o'clock news. A Detroit police officer is dead tonight, fallen by a bullet to... Night Times is made possible in part by a grant from the Northwest Area Foundation. From the Twin Cities, this is Night Times Magazine with Mary Stuckey and Michael Boyle. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Tonight on Night Times Magazine, we'll find out how the Twin Cities Polish community is reacting to the three... Jackson, Mississippi. The program is Kansas City Illustrated, and these are among tonight's stories. What separates the Nelson from some other museum out in the middle of the United States, in the provinces, so to speak? It's the Oriental Collection. That's our tremendous strength. Also, there's a good reason for this. It's because Kansas City, we need, I think, I think the museum bears an obligation to bring the rest of the world to Kansas City. I think if the team were winning, let's say that if this team were as good as it was, as it was in 1977, then I think the public would rather quickly forget. From KOLN Lincoln, KGIN Grand Island, this is 1011 News, The Weekend Report, with Rob McCartney and Mary Jane Bruce, sports with Jeff Schmall, and Chad Myers' exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Shore, Paula Dilworth, meteorologist Matt Bailu, and Ron Futrell with sports. Live, this is News 13. Bye, the 
studios of WMUR-TV, this is New Hampshire's News 9, the Night Report. Good evening, New Hampshire. I'm Tom Griffith. And I'm Judy Fortin. Thank I'm Rolanda Watts. Kent has the evening off. Making the headlines tonight. This is Eyewitness News for Sunday, July 30th, 1978. From KOB TV for Albuquerque, here's Patrick Madden. Good evening. Two British... News Now, with Western New York's number one newscast, here is Penny Daniels. Topping Eyewitness News Nightcast in... First in the Carolinas, the commitment to news excellence and innovation. This is WBTV Charlotte. Bob Inman, Sarah James, Paul Cameron, and Mike McKay. All tonight on WBTV News, The Night Report. Good evening. We will know by mid-afternoon tomorrow. Yes. Stand by. Ready to keep balance on Mike 3. I appreciate it, but a lot of your family is not getting the touch of your sister's wedding. You know what's going on? It's better to talk. 15 and counting. Okay. Good evening, everyone. The U.S. government said today there was no WLWT TV5 Cincinnati. Tonight's news from the Tri-State's finest Action 5 news team. Richard Hull and Norma Rashid. Jerry Springer's Night Feet. Steve Fiziak has sports and weather with Steve Horsmeyer. Live from Cincinnati, this is Action 5 News Tonight. Street Weekly, Bitter Harvest. A new immigration law controls the supply of migrant workers to the state, but critics say it will only cause new problems. We'll look at the new law and its impact on farmers and migrant workers. Gwyneth Gamble Booth looks at a local arts and crafts school with a national reputation that's getting ahead for business. And we'll meet Rod Frederick, a Northwest painter inspired by the beauty of Oregon. This is WTAE, for news. This is WPRI, Channel 12, Providence. From southeastern New England, this is your complete news program, News Center 12, Midday. Students at Providence College are fighting for better security around their campus. And seniors... A production of the South Carolina Educational Television Network. Tonight on Carolina Journal, a top Middle East expert from Washington shares his insight into that region and its issues. How do you pick computer programs for children? What's best? What should you avoid? 
and students from Converse College in Spartanburg fill us in on an upcoming seminar on biomedical ethics. That's tonight on Carolina Journal. Good evening. Few days go by without... A Word on Words, a program delving into the world of books and their authors. Tonight, Alan Gerganis talks about Oldest Living Confederate Widow Tells All. Your host for A Word on Words, Mr. John Siegenthaler, publisher of The Tennessean and editorial director of USA Today. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. KUHT Productions presents Houston Futures, a candid look at the country's fourth largest city, where it's been, where it is, where it's going, based on choices in its economy, education, environment, ethnicity, human needs, planning, government, and decision-making. How will the choices affect Houston's future? Hello and welcome... Where were you in 62? A nostalgic look back at the Seattle World's Fair, tonight on Nightside. Ago this month at Seattle Open Century 21. WSAZ Television 3, Huntington, Charleston, the news leader. Live from Huntington and live from Charleston, this is News Center 3 at 6. Welcome, I'm Joe Smith in Milwaukee. And I'm Dave Iverson in Madison. Topping the news tonight, a new proposal to possibly end the treaty rights dilemma. In just a moment on Wisconsin Week, we'll hear from Attorney General. The hostages are freed and President Reagan promises the nation a new beginning. The top stories tonight on Washington Week in Review. Here is Mar 